Today I gotta figure out where I left off a little bit. Um, I did get parts in the mail. I have not opened it yet. These should be the last internal parts of the transmission I need. And after assembling it, it should be good to put back in. All right, so we have four rings here. They did not send me everything I ordered. Uh, they had to cancel some items, so we're gonna hope that the ones they did send over are the ones I need. So first order of business is figuring out where these snap rings need to go, and which ones I need. What ring is what? So I believe this one was the one I really, really, really needed to replace, and that's that one. And that one's still on. Let's do the most important one first. I could not order that one. It currently has 2.8. One, I could not order a 2.91, but I could order a 2.97, which is probably the correct one anyways, according to my previous measurements. So which one of these is that? 626. We have the stitch part. All right, 626. Looks like the right part. It looks like the same thickness, but it's off, or it's thicker by a very, very, very small amount. Can I do it? It seems to be an all around. And that looks like a very tight squeeze, so. Pretty hopeful for this one. This one doesn't fit. In between there, we should be all set. So that one doesn't work. Let's try the skinniest one we have. Bites and it starts going in, but not quite. So I call that a win. Whew. All right, that was a good one. That 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 was that was the most important one to replace. The next one is the one at the end here. The one we have is probably correct. It might have just uh, wore a little bit when we took it off and did stuff. I didn't order this one because I didn't think I could get it or I couldn't get it. And then I ordered this one, but it was canceled. So this is as good as it gets. This is the one that I'm just gonna have to leave as it is, which is okay. I mean, it's not like out of, out of spec, but it's like kind of close. So I think I can shove a 0.13 in there still. Yeah, kind of like in certain spots, which means this shaft should be all set uh, for assembly. And then we move on to the next one. We have two more. This is for the intermediary shaft. The shaft. We have one on this end. We have we ordered this one. This one. Our curtain is this one. It does not say canceled in any of them, so I think we have choices here. Looks like I wasn't able to order the current size. We have a 641 and a 644. 644 is thicker. 641 might actually be the current size. So I'm gonna try. Okay. That looks like the same size. I think this one I had trouble getting an actual like full measurement on. Probably because of the increments. Try the 10 bytes. It doesn't really, well, it goes in a little bit there. And goes in there. Definitely goes in there. Okay, I'm gonna try the size smaller. Theoretically, this was the same size as the one I had in there previously, so. Should be in and let's try our 10 again. 10 is not going in. Sort of bites around the lip, it doesn't go in. Cool. Eh, bites doesn't go in. Cool. 
That's in spec. We got one more um, that we can do. And I only have one ring for that, so we just did this one. And the one that goes somewhere over here um, after we assemble six gear onto it, which is after we start putting it together. But I have, yeah, I ordered three and I can only get one. So hopefully the one I still have on it is like perfect and doesn't need replaced at all, which would be optimal. But if not, I have a option that may or may not work, so. Next step, start prepping it to be reassembled. So I should probably clean the bell housing and these parts. And that was, I think this one. So this is where the manual here and the transmission I have differ slightly. So hopefully this isn't too complicated to figure out. Whatever this thing is looks pretty good. I'm just gonna kinda hope that, that those hot spots are from manufacturing not use. So this part differs greatly from the instructions because it does not have a clip and it is, uh, see, what is even going on here? Let's go down like that and then this, ah, we go in like that, okay. It's a, it's a puzzle. And that would shift. Two. Something like that. And a notch. Yeah, okay, that's facing the right way then. Cool. Need the hammer looking thing. Should be this one. The reverse gear, which is already ready. Input shaft. Kind of wanted to clean those lines a little bit more, but I guess I can do that after it's assembled. Stay in there, please. All right, um, there are a couple more things I need to pick out, but I'm gonna have to get the exterior part ready first. The idea is, this is just straight up plastic, so you can use it on the drill to clean this off without actually damaging the aluminum. I'm gonna need to get my other drill. Okay. It like, it feels fluffy when you have it spinning better. Didn't get every last bit, but you probably got my fingernails. All right, so let's get some air in the tank. there. That was kind of loud. All right. Looking good. So let's figure out this uh, bolt situation. All right. So I need to figure out what 27 and 17 are. I think 27 is this piece. Here maybe? Have it marked. Yeah, I think that's where this goes, which is on the opposite side there. So then, and then this one, I think this diagram is actually more accurate. So we have a cap thing here. 
another one of those. So that, that's definitely this one, which means this one goes into the middle piece. So it's probably one of these, which I think I got new pieces for. So let me, let me clean this up first. I imagine I left my tool in here because it got stuck. And this would be used to, so we want sealant on this bolt. I wanna make sure these threads are nice and clean before I install this. So what kind of sealer do I use on this? Do I just use regular thread locker or does not specify? So we have that. I think the last thing we need is the ball and spring, which I... Okay, so this is, this is for this one. This is this one. That's for sixth gear. It's a weird rod thing. And I don't know what's, where that goes. So the end bolts, huh, I don't see this spring and uh, ball be for this one. I did get replacement ones though, so um, yay, that one. Big jigsaw puzzle. These might be the new gaskets for those. I highlighted these to make this part easier. Um, it is not being easier. Well, maybe it is being easier. I, it's not being easy. That has one mark on it. One mark on it, so this would go in here maybe? Probably. Yeah, and then this is marked all around it. That should be one of these then. Okay, so one's on the bottom, one's on the top, which would support one going through here. So I'm like 80% sure I use one of these down here. Oh, A and Y. Oh. Oh, okay, so Y is this one. I have one extra. A is. A is, I'm just missing a ball and spring. That's all I'm missing. I can't figure this out. Do I have any other springs in here? No. Gasket, sleeve, couple bolts. These might be replacement bolts for these. No. What are these for? 601, 17, 3, 3, 7. Equals 17.337.01 requires 17. Order two. Oh, these might be those bolts then. I don't know why I ordered two more of these, but yeah. Okay. I guess if I need to replace those, that might have been a mistake order there. I was not planning to be sitting around doing this all day, but. Here I am, sitting around doing this all day. I think I figured it out. Okay, crack the code. I just gotta find the other one. Well, maybe I didn't label it. Maybe that's just telling me how many I ordered. Well, regardless, that makes sense now. Two, seventeen, five, seven, five. Okay, so this, this is the bolt I was missing to begin with. It goes with this. Okay. And what is this? Ah, uh, 604, 337. Or maybe this is the bolt. I will figure that out later. 264, 264, yes, these are the extra other springs. But don't need those. Which leads me back to the same problem. Where's the spring and ball for the part I'm I need it for. Where does this ball and spring go? It goes into the smaller shaft. All right, 
We're gonna skip over that part for now, start assembling it, and then I think it'll kind of show where it's supposed to go. Okay, so replace this piece. Does this get sealant? I would assume so. It says R, whatever that means. Oh no, never mind. The crush thing should be a seal on that. Yeah, okay. There's no point sealing. Cool. Alright, so it wants me to put in. Okay, good, good. Alright. Okay, so we take the shaft here. Use the bolt to hold it in place. What does it say about this? Install the clutch house component in the reverse side of your component install. This is T is a main shaft component, shift forward and rock component, main shaft together, together, blah 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 blah. Reason six counter shaft component and stop. If I'm reading this right, I put the intermediary shaft in first, and then I install and then I install the gear. If I'm reading this right, this is next. Which would leave room for, yep, there it goes. Oh, it doesn't press fit in, it just kind of slides in. So this is a part that requires a special tool, which I don't have. So I'm gonna try to use my own technique of a special tool if I can find either the thing I'm looking for or something better. Or maybe I can just hold it. Hold on. Maybe I can just hold it. Yeah. Okay. So then that would go in like that. And then that would be locked together. And then I could remove the tool okay so a really strong paper clip might work even I, I had to go up and get some paper clips I'm gonna try this real fast so yeah, it's kind of a one purpose tool so if a paper clip does the same job and yeah so this will go through this hole I'm gonna turn this. Whoop. Through the hole. Alright. And then that goes through there. Is that enough? I think I'm gonna double up on it. I wanna make sure it's seated correctly. Okay. Let's try that again. So we got it. There we go. This looks like it'll work though. Let me just uh, turn this. Stick those through. There we go. Who needs a $70 tool when you can just use a paper clip? It does the same job, if not better. Look at that, that's awesome. All right, now back this out a little bit to there. I'm gonna bend it over so I don't push it back in all the way. Okay. All right, so now this is turned. So go in here. We got a new crush washer on there, or whatever you want to call it gasket that's what the manufacturer seems to call it and the instructions say to tighten it but don't tighten it all the way until you have the second part on oh hold on I meant to undo all that. These two must go in together, apparently. <sighs> all right, bolt comes out. Does not want to 
to go in. I wonder if seating it further down makes it so it doesn't want to clear anymore. I wonder if I can do all three at once. I hate to have to undo that much, but if it's not going in, maybe I shouldn't have tapped it in. So you don't want this to seat all the way down, as far as I can tell. Pull the ring up, and let's see if this works. guessing I need to lay these together and also guessing yeah so that sandwiches on here I think yeah that goes in there so I can do that kind of thing too concerned about it with the assembly, just want to have something there. Okay. So we got two holes lined up. Somehow. Don't tell me I have to take that all the way apart again. Please don't tell me I have to take that all the way apart again. Last sanity check. Let's make sure this doesn't have to go in with all of that. Alright, new plan. Everything goes in all at the same time. Somehow. With only two hands. Um, I don't know how that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. So now they are loose. Okay, let me think. Let's grab new gloves. Try to keep this clean. So this is all partially in here. And this is all in here correctly. The pin's in, this is in, that's in. I think we shove it all in sideways. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Ooh. Come on. Okay, so that needs to go in as one piece. Now I need to clean that off. All right, so that won't go in sideways. All right. Oh, joy. Camera died again. Okay. So. We have to carefully put the entire thing together all at the same exact time. Okay? Okay. 
Third question, where does that little hammer thing go? And does it go in with this? Because if it goes in with this, I don't want to do this once. For this next question. The hammer is 26. 26 is fifth reverse counter lever. Okay, that goes in after all of this. Okay, that's good. Oh no. That was balls and springs going everywhere. <sighs> it has to come apart again. And I gotta figure out which ones have oh, I lost the balls and springs to. This is the bottom one here. Now we gotta go hunting, make sure they're not in the transmission. And they probably are a whole bunch missing now. Are you having fun? <sighs> I need a break. That's what I need. Um, where is my magnet? I would take a break, but I really need to verify where all these, what I, what I lost, and if I can cover. If I lose any, I don't have any spare clips. We got two springs, two clips. Another spring, another clip. Okay, that's good. Do we have any of the balls? Any of the balls? Nope. Springs and clips went inward for some reason. And are balls in here somewhere, or did they just go flying? Well, it's a good thing I ordered extra balls. I don't see any on here. They're heavy enough that they should fall out if I rock things around. Yeah, I, I heard like something tick over here, something tick over here. So there's probably one somewhere over here, probably another somewhere over here, and then the last one is in nowhere land. So I hope I have three extra, at least. This is one. Great. Um, I need two more. So I did replace one that I didn't need to replace. Um, or like I replaced one I thought I was missing. So I can pull that other one out of the used parts pile. So that gives me two. I thought I ordered extra extra. Yeah, I thought I ordered three. This is not ideal. I'm gonna have to go ball hunting. Right, let's, let's pull the one out of here first. 
Yes, okay. Here's that one. Let me know if you guys see a, a shiny ball somewhere free. Living its life free from the transmission. Hiding so it doesn't have to come back or go back into I should have checked those to make sure it's on here. I only need to find one of them. And it gives me an excuse to start cleaning up a little bit. Oh, what's this? Oh, is this the other one I ordered? 17108. Yep, okay, never mind. So there are three balls somewhere in here that I will find at another date. And then I can laugh and be like, haha, remember when those balls fell out of the transmission when I was trying to, when I was strolling one thing after the other and everything kept going wrong and then they just sprung out everywhere. All KS Emerald style. Or they just end up in different zones altogether. That was great. Let's pop this back out so I don't have to deal with this later. All right. I'm sure it's great for the bearing to be uh, installed and uninstalled and installed and uninstalled over and over again, right? <laughs> uh, all right. Let's get these out of the bags. I don't lose these. I don't lose these either. Very valuable to me right now. They're probably worth only about a couple bucks a piece. Delicate operation. Let's this that way. Ten, this way, and then we line these up again. So now, we take the balls, and carefully, ever so carefully. Can I back it out? Did I mess this up entirely? Going great. All right, moving on. All right, so that goes in there. Stay. All right, so these, that. Okay. Okay. Where's the? Oh yeah, it fell over here. All right, so this is now dirty. Now we are back to where we were maybe an hour or two ago. I don't know. Well, we're back somewhere. But am I even still streaming? It says I am. <sighs> all right, just I just feel very discouraged right now. That's all. I. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. These go in the spot, that's all set together. This goes with this, that's set together. This needs to sit outside of its spot. Let's move this over. This goes in to this hole, and then the rod. This one goes through the one that's not all the way through. Don't go in yet. So I'm gonna set this outside of the hole, just on the side. Put this so that it's kind of lined up in this whole hole. I'm just saying things that I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not sure if, it, if they're 100% correct until it works or not. This is still set. Let's stick it in here. Grab the rod. Stick the rod in. All right, it's just in loose. Grab this entire assembly. Be ever so careful for it to not fall apart. Or separate. Okay. Okay, so we got that mostly lined up so this rod is almost where its hole is. 
and this is sitting outside of its hole as well. So let's try to Try to push this together, maybe first. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay, so can we move this closer to where it needs to be without having it drop? So that's almost in its hole. Let me push this towards it. So that's meshed up pretty well actually now. Okay, good, good, good. I think these are actually kind of meshing together now. That's kind of encouraging. This is just sitting here, that's, that's fine. All right, so the shafts are kind of mated together and they're, but they're not in their hole yet. Now I'm rotating them so they go into their hole. Their holes, plural. Okay, I felt them drop in. Okay. Mesh them together. The this one's not quite in its hole. Now it is. This one's in its hole just fine. Camera's still running. Awesome. This shaft can drop into its little cubby just fine. That's great. That's all meshed together perfectly fine. The pin stayed in spot perfectly fine. Oh my word, did it work? <laughs> I'm gonna turn it slightly. Okay. Okay, oh, and uh, settled down a little bit. All right. I'm gonna put the screw in this. I don't care if you tell me not to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the screw in this one. Line that up. It's threading right in, like it belongs. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I'm doing this extra, extra right. I'm gonna down this little spot here first. Here, give it the best chance to seal. All right, that's screwing in like it belongs. And it's in there, finger tight. Excellent. Okay. Now I'm going to consult the instructions before I do anything else. <laughs> All right. I feel a little better now. I just needed something to go right. That's all. Uh, just something. Main graph shaft gear is in, shift fork and rod. 16 is in, what is 17? 17 is, I believe it was that screw I just put in. Yes, 17 was the screw, okay, that was correct. 18, shift arm, fifth. Pressure spring and steel ball. So apparently I could have put this, or that, well, one of these arms is separate, apparently. Maybe. It's not the first carrier, but the biggest carrier with a cream shaft. Okay, that goes in and that goes in. Okay. One thing I completely forgot about. I have to make sure. Okay, good. Okay. So it's this one. Where that ball and spring go. That is a mystery to me right now. So apparently, spring and ball, which one goes first? Spring, then ball. That goes in here, I think. Question. What? How does that work? All right, well, that can be done after this part. So the next part is a little hammer piece. It looks like a little hammer head. Goes in. 
over here and somehow looks like this part goes in there and then this part goes in there so yeah so that let's get the little point the the nub part and spot and then the little pointy part and there all right and now we grab this guy and we can grease this up a little bit with our gloves here and let's put some thread seal on here we want it to seal pretty well so now we drop the piece in so i have to fish it out again and reset it um this is part part of the part of the install clearly or something. Uh, there it goes. Okay. Push this in. I, I don't know. That's a, that is a lot of blue thread locker. I'd rather just put straight seal in on it. You know what? I'm gonna look around for my sealant. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing ever to use blue thread lock thread locker, but if that bolt ever does need to be taken out again. It's specialty bolt and heating that up would be very difficult and if you're having trouble removing it, it it's a I mean it's a hex I mean it will it'll strip right I could just stop for the night put something on it get some rest get the uh, sealant so that I have a giant container of somewhere that um that uh went missing i mean it, it's literally like it's a container like this big round about that tall however this is a smaller thing of what i am looking for and if there's anything left in here it might be enough for the millionth time clean a part that we already cleaned before Is it enough? What I'm thinking about doing is I'm gonna put a little bit of blue Loctite on the very top of this so we just have some blue Loctite on it. So I think if I keep the Loctite towards the end of it, if I do, if, if it needs to be removed again and it needs to be heated up or something like that, it can be done. I'm probably overanalyzing this part, but I, want to just do this once oh threads don't even start till way down there let's put a little tab here all good okay that seems to be going in all right we're going for it and we line this up negative does this need to come up at all okay there we go so it lifts up slightly no, no, no. Ah, we got this. We got this. We got this. We, we totally got this. Maybe we start it on it a little bit. Should be able to pull this up slightly. Maybe. Yep. And then kind of finesse it. Fish it on there. Okay, now it's on. So it's screwing into this. As tight as these threads are, it should seal just fine. Here it is, I think. Okay, that's on. All right, it is together, sorta, kinda. Whew, let's look at the instructions and see what's next or what else we have to do yeah so there's the ball and spring that go in that's part of the instructions that i just don't know how that works okay so that's why i could have put this in afterwards if i took the pins out apparently that holds the uh, little pieces on the rod which i didn't do so i wonder if that spring and ball are in here already 
and they're removed by that pin. The spring differs from these springs entirely, which is a good sign. This spring, yeah, it kind of fits. Stick it out, take a look at it. It's tiny, tiny little spring. A6037108. Okay. So it is these. Why is it not marked that on my paper? Because I marked the wrong one. No, no, that's right. Why is it in the end? So why? We got the same number somewhere for a one. We want the A one, which should be this, which is not that. All right. Six, three. So I'm missing this entirely. Two, five. I'm going to circle. Why is it running so fast? I need to be why. We're going to two. No ones. All right, so these are these. We're going to do these. This is the number two. I'm missing. Okay, so I'm actually missing. Okay. And then A's. We're just missing from here. Not right. So we got one right here. I'm going to do this row. Check off. And I'm going to do this row. This rod is probably to do this. Yes, that one's out. Okay, that so, okay, six zero three one seven one zero eight. So one of these. So somehow this ball pushes against this brain and goes all the way in. I'm assuming. All right, are are we back? Is it working? I have green. I'm just clean all three, three of these parts. Looks like I had regular thread locker on it. Good to know. SSD into the clutch housing. Oh, good, another specialty tool that I don't have. Install the steel ball into the shift arm. Fifth notch. There's a notch on it, apparently. There's a notch. Yep, there's a notch. Okay. There's a notch. Take care so that the steel ball does not drop out. Carefully insert rod until it contacts the SST installed into the clutch housing. Turn the notch of the shift rod in towards the shift rod A. Shift rod A. Go up and down. Why would I put a spring there? What? Unless it's talking about like a ball and spring here, which it might be. Wait, is this missing a? Because this fork I did not take apart whatsoever. Hold up. Okay. Hold up. Uh, when we ins when we assembled this working shift arm into housing. Pass the shift rod through the 34 shift fork. Shift rod through the fork. Tap a new spring pin into the shift arm car's head. Why is that leaving last? Might end up taking this further apart just to even verify that this is even correct. I don't remember taking the spring out, so I'm guessing it's in here, but I don't feel it engaging. So I might have to take this out. All right, let's do that. Uh, can we remove this one this way? Maybe. Nope. These pins are really in there. Um, I need it out of the transmission, which involves taking it apart. I don't want to do that. Uh, so that just needs to lift up high enough. Can that lift up any higher? Okay, that's higher. I don't know if that's enough to clear it. We need to take that bolt out again. So how do I do this without taking it all the way apart again? I hope I don't regret taking this apart again. It's not even stuff I can really confirm. Okay. That should be fine as is. Pull the hammer out again. I thought we were done with this, but I guess not. Okay. 
I can get to this now, I guess. Might be able to punch that through, I don't know. We'll give it a shot. All right, pins out. Pins out means Rod should be able to swing up. Okay, Rod's up. This piece is loose. All right, the rest of that does not need to come out. At least I hope it doesn't. All right, what do we have here? So this rolls up like that. And it wants me to I'm just gonna have a finger here just in case. Nothing. Okay. There is a ball there. Has this been all or just a lesson and what not to do? And I just spilled oil all over the floor. this spring just fatigued? There's the ball, there's the spring. This is what I was trying to put in because it was already in there. But you know what? We got a new spring. So we're putting the new spring in there. Whether it needs it or not, it's getting a new spring. Spring. Spring goes in this little chamber in here. All right, we're replacing the spring because we did all this trouble to take it apart. All right, spring's in there. Ball, we could reuse the old ball. Um, it's dirty right now, so are the new balls apparently, but, uh, you know what, we're going to use the new ball. Oh, it's trouble, might as well make sure it's, ah, where the camera, spin. why did it do that again? I don't know. I don't know how long that was, but I'm sorry. So we're going to put a new ball in there. Okay, this tool. And then, and okay, it's in, it's set, it's there. All right. We're gonna slide this together. We're gonna we're gonna slide. There we goes. Okay. Ah, and that clicks now. See, it wasn't clicking before. The, the uh yeah interesting oh you know what i'm actually gonna put a little bit of oil on that just make sure it doesn't fly anywhere please don't fly anywhere okay because that's probably a good idea we we'll use our oil dipstick here i guess is what we can call it now separately kind of but then uh, i probably should put some oil in in there but ooh, i know we can put some in the back hole here there we go Bada bang, bada bang. Because we're being thorough here. We're gonna stick this in there. And use that to spread out some of the oil. And we're gonna dump more in there because I really just, I don't, I, I don't know, I'm tired. I'm just doing stuff over and over again now. There. All right. That's together. We put this on the rod, which we put a little oil on so it doesn't seize up. All right, put this back on the rod. And this lines up and then clicks in there. It's clicking, yay. Old ball, old spring, put it in the box. Don't care about it anymore, bye-bye.
this part needs to go back into these. Let's try this go. And let's go this way. No. Angles are all wrong. Okay. So this is sandwiched between these two. Okay. Okay, now it's going through. Let me see where the hole is, where the hole go. Can you show me? There it is, okay. So the hole lines up that way. And we're gonna try to start the pin. So this goes in the hole. Here and okay, so let's make sure this lines up. Be easier to do this on the other side. Okay, that's on that. Now it's like really on this. That's not ideal. Dang it. I have to get a new pin. Which of course is missing. Oh, uh huh. Hey, size. Uh, I Hmm. Not pin, pin appear to be the same. And a little bit of that can help pop it in there. We lined up at all. That's gonna need to be realigned after I pop it. I'll try to do this anyways. Here we go. Okay, so that might be where it reaches. Oh. Alright, so now I need to make sure that hole lines up. Almost all the way through. Just a little bit further. I need two more hands, aka a, a helper. That is in. It's in. Ha ha! Properly. Is this in its hole? That seems to be in its hole. Just gonna flip around. Okay. That looks great. <laughs> oh, actually. Before I get too sidetracked here, I'm gonna put the hammer head back in or whatever you wanna, whatever it is. I don't know, it looks like a hammer head to me. Yeah. There we go. Come on, there we go. All right, now we're back to where we were I don't know, 40 minutes ago? I, I, I don't know, I'm losing track of time. What was I doing before I decided to do that again? Now I've misplaced the ball that was over here. Ugh, there it is. Okay, so we have a ball. For now, we're just 
just gonna set you on top of one of these holes so we don't lose you. All right, so this ball, I think goes in this hole. I think, I'm not sure. It's just that part of the front. the ball down gotta clean off again so that will go down into there probably about that far maybe a little less far than that notches up towards the top this is literally the last bit of towel I have here oh here it is so that means, that means I put on this case onto here, well, somehow that ball stays where it needs to stay. And that rod somehow stays where it needs to stay, somehow. And at the same time, that also means I'm gonna have to have the surface prepped with the gasket stuff on it and ready to go. I'm scared to take this out, but we're taking it out. Pin has been removed. Grenade is live. So to put this on, I first need to clean it and I also need to replace this bearing because I got a new one. The old one's probably just fine, but since I have a new one, might as well replace it. I'm gonna make a guess on that one. it up a bit okay so I need to press on the outer ring not the bearings and this is almost wide enough and not quite I forgot I bought this thing I have yet to use it let's see how does this work okay all right uh-huh this might not work for this application do it the other way can I do it this way this might work. Let me line this up. And start going down. Got some resistance there. Put pressure on it. Ooh, I was about to stop all together. But it did go. I'm going to readjust it because I really don't want to damage the uh, other pieces. Well, that pushes it a lot of the way but not all the way I can't really use the second settings is what I really need to be able to use without chopping off the inner teeth because of how it sits on the rollers because if I bring this in again no that's as useful as that gets right now what if I put the new bearing on top of the old bearing and use that to push the old bearing out while pushing the new bearing in with, with one of these plates? If I had the right socket, I wouldn't have to do all this. But, you know, the downside of this is I won't be able to really clean anything before putting the new one in. Actually, or I put the new bearing in and then get it all covered in cleaner. I should clean this separately. It only really looks messy. It, it's all an illusion. To make it think I'm, I'm like, I'm, um, what, what does it make you think actually? Maybe I should get the uh, slightly harder plastic. This isn't really like doing a lot. Yeah, it seems to be doing a little better. Yeah, this green one works a little better. All right. All right, mating surfaces are scrubbed. Now we need to 
kick up the fan so I don't breathe a whole bunch of fumes. Oh, we need a re refill here. Assuming you don't spill every drop. Mike dead. Mike dead? Mike dead. How's the mic dead? Why is the mic dead? I've had so many uh, technical difficulty issues this entire stream. I'm gonna have to, I might leave it up af after I'm done and um, mess around with some settings and check my uh, network settings. We are out of here. I feel like everything's telling me to stop right now, but I don't want to. So we're gonna just keep going. Car muffler, no bug neighbors. At least not as much. Loud noise. You don't say. Come on, stay in there. Okay. Make it work. For his asphyxiate, or however you say it. That's all prepped. Let's go ahead and remove that bearing. Okay, it goes in. Get some resistance. That's the other bearing. Let's see if I can reach it. Yep. Okay, all the bearings out. Um, since it's out, might as well wipe the place where it was before I press it in fully. Okay, let me press this flush. That's flush. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to press it just a, just a tad bit more in. enough. That looks about right. I don't think it matters how precise it's in, it's just matters that it's in. That's a little scuffed right there. Oh, cool. Old bearing. I almost forgot what I was doing. The next step is to take this and bolt it down to this while keeping the uh, ball piece in in spot apparently so this will go on like that and the spirit will need to stay in there that's how that works Here. I think. Yeah, it goes here. And then somehow stays there. Uh, I haven't figured out how. Because that doesn't make sense. I almost feel like this is the axis hole for that. Hmm. There's no way to hold it there. Unless I use grease. First application I actually use grease on. I 
think it's that bearing I just installed that's colliding, but I'm not 100% sure. So I wonder if what it's saying is this rod goes into the transmission case first. I think I'm going to call it a night here and figure this out tomorrow.